Um, International Workers' Day. We're here taking action in response to the Palestinian General Federation Trade Unions. The Pura Pola asking for workers and trade unionists around the world to take action made over Palestine. Free, free, free demanding an arms embargo, a ceasefire, and an end to occupation, an end to apartheid. This department is where the licenses that sell arms to Israel take place. We know that the genocide couldn't happen without political support from our government, but also military support. And this is where those two things come together. There are factories around the country, Velvet Systems of BAE Systems that send critical components of the F-35 fighter jets um, to Israel and these fighter jets are currently dropping bombs on Gaza now, today, and have been since the genocide began. We're here in solidarity with our health worker colleagues in Palestine. Just last week, there was another mass grave uncovered at another hospital. We saw pictures of bodies taken out of these mass graves, handcuffed, still wearing scrubs. They were being unearthed alongside the bodies of patients that still had catheters in them that were also handcuffed. Workers inside this building are standing up and saying, not in our name, we don't want to be made to be complicit. That's a really, really brave and courageous thing and that's what everyone needs to be doing. We would want to see expand into all sectors where there's complicity. What can we do? Where do we need to be build power? What do we need to be doing to say not in our name and end to this? My message would be for people to not lose sight of the ultimate goal, which is the liberation of Palestine from the river to the sea, to isolate Israel on a global level, and to see the end of Western imperialism and Zionism once and for all.